I completely concur with uh, what J.A. had mentioned. Uh, I completely concur with what Dr. Oja has said uh, about the Telangana IT department, including the, the TSDS, being the nodal agency, not just for procurement, but also for future planning. I think we have to proactively plan. We cannot leave it to the respective line departments to make their own plans and then give us an indent, saying this is what you have to do, please buy the equipment for me. That can't be the case. We have to work like an IT department within a company, within any organization. We have to be uh, you know, proactive in terms of deciding and we have to really reach out. Because in, uh, funnily enough, IT is all pervasive. IT permeates into every single line department. And in fact, incidentally, I must have received a few hundred proposals you know, for all departments combined. Some e-health applications, some e-education initiatives, some other initiatives which are very interesting, some dashboards, etc., etc. But each and every, every time somebody came to me, I merely pushed them back to the line department and the respective minister, saying, sir, why don't you take a look at it? If you like it, we can think about uh, you know, procuring this product you know, in, a, in a meaningful fashion for you. But I think that needs to change. What we need to do as Department of Information Technology is figure out what solutions are good, Figure out what is being done, what are the best practices that are being uh, employed by various state governments, various other agencies in the country, so organizations such as like World Bank as well. Figure out what they are doing, you know, there's InfoDev or other ICT initiatives. We need to actually come out with a plan and we need to actually sit with the line departments, tell them this is good, why don't you use it? I think that, 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 that proactiveness has to come in. And we also have to start looking at creating data centers, cloud-enabled data centers. We can't just be thinking about physical infrastructure all the time. We also start, have to start thinking about cloud enabling our entire operations because um, as a government, we can't just be looking at private sector, private employers to play you know, this uh, role of creating employment. We all should uh, uh, start looking at it. And cloud enabling our data center is a challenge because as it is, we know our government line departments don't talk to each other. Not just the bureaucracy, but actually the machines don't talk to each other as well. They're extremely incoherent. And they're extreme, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing, which is a very, very weird sort of a situation. And this is a big challenge. In fact, we need somebody capable heading this. We need somebody who needs to really take the bull by the horns and make it happen. And this is going to be a challenge because we have legacy systems, we have systems and uh, outdated applications which each and every department is using. The IT department knows nothing about it. Unfortunately, that needs to change and that needs to be streamlined. Ninth thing, ninth point I wanted to touch upon, promotions and roadshows. We are a new state. We are a city which has got plans, ambitions, but we need to make a splash. This is a world which thrives on PR. This is a world that lives and dies by, especially IT, ICT sector. We have to travel. We have to do road shows. We have to ensure that we are heard. We have to ensure that the world knows about our policies. We have to ensure that the world understands that there are some smart people sitting here as well, and there are some people who are really wanting to take the city and the state you know, one notch up above anybody else in this country. For that to happen, aggressive promotions, aggressive roadshows have to be planned. We've done some. We've done some in Hyderabad, we've done some in Bangalore, but this is not enough.